Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my finale to Deck of Planning 2023. Emily of Emily and Max is the creator of this project and I have linked her down below as well as the collaborative playlist. Should you want to binge watch a little bit while we're on a winter break? So I'm a bit sad that this is the finale and I don't get to roll any more prompts in and pull any more cards but I will 100% be back next year for Decker Panning 2024. I wish I could tell you at this point the total amount of products that I have worked on as part of Decker Panning this year, but I lost the little note and I had to go back and rewatch like a couple of videos from early in the year, use the different tracking system midway through the year, la la la. If I can find it, I'm gonna let you know now and insert the number here. And also, how many empties have I had in Deck of Panning this year? Since my last update in November, I have been working on five products. Five prompts, I should say. More than five products. And let's see if I managed to hit my goal or not. Starting off with the item that has been in here for the longest. This was for the Joker and this came in four months ago. This is my BH Cosmetics Do Not Disturb palette. And my goal was to use this eyeshadow here called Off The Grid and to try and use it up completely. It already had pan. Here's what it looked like when I rolled it into this project. And then at my first update, I had used it eight times. At my second update, I had used it a further six times, making for 14 total amount of uses. For update three of this eyeshadow, I did another five more uses, bringing me to 19 total uses. And today I am at 28 total uses after another nine uses this past month. I always knew I wasn't gonna be able to finish this shade completely this year. I had a side goal to hit 10 uses each month, never made that. At least I did nine uses this past month. That's the best I managed to do. And although I really loved using this eyeshadow and I really love the color of it, it's on my eyelids today, on top of a couple of other eyeshadows, I'm quite happy to not be working on this anymore. For the prompt, pick your space, I went with whole collection roulette and this is the palette that came up. Revolution Pro New Neutral Blush Palette. And I hand selected a shade in here and my goal was to hit pan on it. And I chose a pressed glitter called Carva. And I really hope that you can see that after 16 uses, I managed to hit pan. Super happy. I loved wearing this, but you know, it's not the most fun to take off at night. At my last update, I rolled in three more prompts. And the first prompt was for random letter generator and I got the letter D. So I picked this NARS mini blush in Dolce Vita and I only rolled it in for 10 uses. And I managed to do that. I absolutely love this blush. I had forgotten how much I love this. It was very hard to stop using this once I hit my 10 use goal but it's not part of my 24 in 2024 items. So I have forced myself to put this away and work on something different. Who puts three blushes in their planter pan for one year? Next for the prompt duo or duo ended, I picked two items because at the time I didn't have any duo items. I do now, at Van Calendar, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I picked this MAC Lip Duo here. This is Lady Danger. And then this is High Energy. They're not a perfect match, but I think they work together. This is definitely more cool toned. My goal was to only use these two together four times. I only managed to do two uses. I am not feeling this combination at all. I don't think it suits me. I definitely prefer more cool toned reds on me. Definitely. Rather than warm ones. Also, this was like really all the rage I feel about 12 years ago, my postgrad times. It's still definitely the same one. Do you know what? I'm happy to continue to um, Pan this by slicing some of it into concoctions, melting lip products together. 
maybe using it as a stain here and there, but yeah, wasn't loving this. And that's why I just thought, I don't need to force myself to wear it two more times together if I don't want to. And my final prompt last time was phone a friend. And so I had a selection of nail polishes for people to vote on in my Instagram stories. And I also asked my son and my husband to pick out a random polish from all of my polishes that are currently not in projects. So I ended up with a bundle of three polishes and my goal was to use each of them once. This one here is my husband's choice and it's a concocted polish, slightly shimmery, in a P2 volume gloss bottle. The original color was lighter and more yellow leaning and I made it a bit more pink and shimmery. This is also what I'm wearing on my nails today and I quite like it, yeah. I kept it on just for this video, you know, I'm definitely due a mani, but hey. My son picked out this one. This was the first one that I reached for out of the three. This is Models Own Fly Lag, really like this. It's a lilac with a silver shimmer in there and this has got a lot of longevity. And then the social media pick was H&M Regalia. I'm so happy about this because when it came to me putting in, you know, the uses of all of these, in my book for 2023, I realized I hadn't worn this shade yet this year at all, which absolutely puzzles me because this is one of my favorite polishes. It's such a pretty purple with a hint of a gold shimmer in there as well. Love it. So thank you to everyone who voted on my Instagram story. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye on that for next year and make sure that I don't accidentally, yeah, I, I, f I feel like I want to do something where I can rotate through my polishes a bit faster. So that means out of the five that I've been working on, I managed to hit my goal on three prompts and two, I didn't manage to do that on. This was the Joker, so I let myself off. I really tried. And then, yeah, I definitely could have done two more uses, but I'm gonna pan this differently. All right, that's it from me. Definitely make sure you check out Emily and the playlist as well. And if you're toying with the idea of joining Dick of Panning next year, definitely, definitely do it. Give it a go. I think you're gonna have so much fun. Thank you very much for watching and I'm sending you so much love. Take care, bye. Mwah.